Hi everyone, welcome to Mr. Techpathy Tutorials. This is part 13 of Linux Device Drivers. In earlier session, Linux Device Driver part 12, we started our step-by-step -step process to learn Linux Device Driver programming. We have covered few topics like what information to gather before Linux Device Driver programming, a brief introduction of Skull Device Driver, procedure to identify major and minor numbers. This session is an extension of previous session where we are going to learn further steps which we need to follow before writing a sample character device driver. In this session, we are going to discuss following topics. First topic is allocating and freeing device numbers. Second topic is best way to allocate device numbers. Third topic is disadvantage of dynamic assignment of device numbers. Fourth topic is allocating device numbers to skull device driver. Let's start with our first topic. Allocating and freeing device numbers. From earlier session, we very well know how to define and identify device numbers. Let's learn how they are allocated and freed. While setting up a character device, first thing our driver need to do is to obtain one or more device numbers to work with. To do this, Linux kernel provides following functions. First function is register caredev region. Second function is allocate caredev region. Let's discuss about these two functions in detail now. First function, register caredev region. As you can see, function name is register caredev region with three arguments and a return value of type int. Coming to the arguments, Argument 1 is first, which is of type dev underscore t structure. First is the beginning device number of the range you would like to allocate. If you know your device number, then that can be assigned to first variable and passed as a first argument to this function. Second argument is count, which is of type int. Count is the total number of contiguous device numbers you are requesting. Usually this number is 1 and can vary depend upon your number of devices. Third argument is character pointer name. It is the name of the device that should be associated with this number range. It will appear in slash proc and sysfs. If you open a Linux terminal and type cat space slash proc devices, you can see an entry of this device name. Coming to the value written by this function, the return value will be 0 on success. In case of error, a negative error will be returned. Since we have requested for a memory region using this function call, if there is a negative error, obviously you will not have access to the requested region. The second function for allocating device number is alloc caredev region. This function allocates major number dynamically. Just calling below function with appropriate parameters will allow kernel to allocate a major number for you on fly. This function allocate caredev region takes four arguments and returns an integer. Coming to the arguments passed to this function, first argument is dev, which is of type dev underscore t structure. Dev is an output parameter that will, on successful completion, hold the first number in your allocated range. Second argument is first minor. This is the first requested minor number to use. It is usually zero. The third argument is count, where count is the total number of contiguous device numbers you are requesting. The fourth argument is a character pointer to name. It is the name of the device that should be associated with this number range. It will appear in slash proc devices and sysfs. As you can see, the third argument count and fourth argument name works like those given to the request caredev region function. The usual place to call these functions would be in your module init function. Just to recap, we have learned two ways to allocate device numbers for our character driver using two methods. One is register caredev region, the other is alloc caredev region. Freeing device numbers. We have allocated the device number using alloc caredev region and register caredev region. Now in order to free this region or device number when they are no longer needed, kernel provides functions called unregister caredev region. This function takes two arguments, first and count, of type dev underscore t and int respectively. First and count are the arguments which are provided while allocating the region or device numbers using register caredev region and alloc caredev region. The usual place to unregister caredev region in your module is cleanup function. Coming to our second topic, best way to allocate device numbers. As a device driver programmer, we have two choices to pick major number for a device. One is to pick random number that appears to be unused and second one is to allocate major numbers in a dynamic manner. If you randomly pick a number that is unused, the driver works until it is used only by you. If your driver is widely used, a randomly picked major number will lead to conflict and cause major trouble. So it's always recommended to dynamically allocate major numbers for a new drivers by using alloc caredev region rather than register caredev region. Coming to our next topic, disadvantages of dynamic assignment of device numbers. 
In last slide, I have recommended to dynamically allocate major numbers for a new driver using alloc carrier region. If you do so, you need to know the disadvantage of it as well. Disadvantage comes when you want to create device node in advance for your device driver. The disadvantage of dynamic assignment is that you can't create the device node in advance because the major number assigned to your module will vary. For normal use of driver, this is hardly a problem because once the number has been assigned, you can read it from the slash proc devices. So the best way to assign major number is by defaulting to dynamic allocation while leaving yourself the option of specifying the major number at load time or even at compile time. Just to recap, we learned that as a Linux device driver programmer, we have two choices to allocate major numbers. One is random number picking and the other is leaving it to the kernel to decide kernel assigns major number dynamically on fly. Though dynamic assignment is recommended, it has a disadvantage where you can't create device nodes in advance for your device driver. So the best way to assign major number is by defaulting to dynamic allocation while leaving yourself an option of specifying the major number at load time or even at the compile time. With this information in hand, let's apply these concepts to our sample skull driver. Allocating region for skull device driver. Here is the code from Aureli Linux device driver book. As discussed in our Linux device driver part 12, we'll code small snippets of skull driver while learning process and finally integrate them at the end. We use skull underscore major and skull underscore minor global variables to hold major and minor numbers of skull device driver. As you can see, this code first checks if major number is defined or its default to zero. If it is defined, it uses mkdev macro to get the major and minor number embedded into dev structure and will register the skull device region using the dev variable. Register underscore kdev region is used to register the skull device and will register the skull device region using the dev variable. It uses the function register kdev region. So we have a major number here, valid major number and we are using register character region to register the device using known major number. This mechanism is nothing but manually assigning major number yourself. Coming to the else part, if skull underscore major is zero by default, it comes to the else part. And in here, we use alloc character region to allocate major number on fly for the skull device. Once this is done, we use major macro to get 12 bit major number from the device variable. Finally, we'll check the result if it is less than zero where the result is a variable which carries the return value of register CADEV region or allow CADEV region. We have discussed about major and MKDEV macros in Linux device driver part 12. Please watch this video if you are not clear on understanding this code. Just to recap, the skull implementation uses a global variable skull underscore major to hold the chosen number. This variable is initialized to skull underscore major defined in skull dot h. There is also a skull underscore minor for the minor number. Skull dot h is a part of early Linux device driver example source code. As mentioned earlier, source code of Linux device drivers example of early can be downloaded from below link. For your reference, I'll be embedding this link in the show notes of this video. The default value of skull underscore major in the distributed source is zero, which means use dynamic assignment. The user can accept the default or choose a particular major number either by modifying the macro before compiling or by specifying a value of skull underscore major in the ins mode command line. Hope you understood all the topics discussed in this session. If you are not clear on any topic or have any questions, please drop your questions in the comment section and I will get back to you accordingly. Thank you.